Saturday. Well, so what is today? It's Sunday. It is 12:39 on Sunday, and uh, I know my I'm not gonna post this until Tuesday, but um, I really like this challenge. So I got all my stuff together, and I'm supposed to be taking a shower and going to watch a movie with Jeremy, but. I don't know. I watched Logan's video and I just felt like making my video. So, whatever. Oh, I just got back from a Jeff Dunham show at Emmons. I went with my mom and Bruce and Jeremy. And he's pretty hilarious. So, you guys, if you haven't heard of him, which I'm sure you have, you should check him out. So, I have tons of stuff that remind me of home. So, um, I have pictures. Like, here's when we were all Harry Potter. Yeah, I have that hanging up on my bulletin board. And then here's our English, our senior, my senior class, English class. And Erica and Krista are right here. Yeah. And I'm down here lying down. I don't know why I'm lazy, I guess. And then I have Erica and Krista here from English. And, oh no, this is uh, statistics because that's Elaine back there. That's not somebody from our English class. And then I have prom. I think this is the only thing I have that includes John, too, because John's not in the other pictures. I don't know why John, dumb, didn't dress up for Harry Potter. And then, for Logan, I don't have any pictures, and it's not my fault that I don't. So, I have this, too. Is that my name? Yeah, see, there it is. And just so you know, Logan, this keeps some very important stuff to me. These are um, lighters that have um, my dad's name engraved on it. One of them is his brother Zachy Trosper. You can't really see the engraving, kind of. And then one is Junior Trosper and that's my dad. I found these in our um, storage shed after he died and I kept them because I think they're really cool. And so I only keep really important stuff to me in here. And then this is the first piece of jewelry Jeremy ever gave me. And it's kind of broken and the, the clasp doesn't work. So I keep that in here because that's important to me. And this uh, little dog weasel from the hospital gave me. I don't I just, just think it's cool. It's nice to remember it. And this is from when my lobster days at the hospital. They got me this little lobster and they took the legs off of it. And then I have the note from Logan that he wrote. I'll tell you his Loganism was. Oh, where's it at? Okay, sometimes in life, if you have to ask, you'll never know. Okay, and then my favorite thing that I have that reminds me of high school is from Matt. And I didn't even know I had it. So, I don't know if it was for Christmas you wrote everybody notes, but I didn't even know. Like you can see, it's kind of like crumpled and stained with stuff. It was in my coat pocket. And the other day I got my winter coat out to wear it because it's been so cold here. And I found it and I was amazed. And I read through it and I cried because it's so sweet. The most thoughtful thing that I remember from you, Matt. And I think I'm... I just love it. It's full of nice compliments and nice things and yeah. So that made me happy when I read it. I almost cried. And Drew, your video was so good. And you had like some of the most sentimental ones and it touched me deep in my soul. And uh, I told Jeremy that we were going to have to take a day trip some Saturday to Indy to come hang out with you and Logan. Maybe go get some food or something in Indy or maybe we can work it out with Erica and we can all go at the same time or lots more people. So that's what I got. And for Logan, I think my superhero... If you guys read Twilight, I don't know, it's going to sound dorky, but I kind of wish that I was like Jasper in Twilight and I could just like manipulate people's emotions, not like to do negative things, just because it hurts my heart when people are sad or when people are stressed out and I would like to be able to calm them down and it would be nice to do that without actually taking on the, the pain and suffering myself because I'm not that righteous. So I like to just take it away and not have to have it myself if that's bad sounding I'm sorry so that's all I'm gonna film tonight that's already five minutes so that might be enough but um I'm gonna go take a shower now and go watch Amityville Horror with Jeremy so you guys yeah be cool what's Erica's challenge
Oh, I did Eric's challenge. Okay, there we go. Now I'm back and boy, I'm ready. Everything is crystal clear. Gonna get me my diploma and complete my. Hi guys, it's Jeremy. So, um, Jessica's telling me about these so-called comments that she's receiving about how you guys are wondering why I'm not in the videos anymore. And I'm not sure if I believe her because I didn't know I was that loved. But she wouldn't leave me alone and I had to be in the video and I had to talk and say things and whatever. So, hi, and that's Jessica being an edge right around in this area somewhere. I just got done with my shower. That's her. Anyway, um, so I don't really have anything to say. Tell Logan what your superpower would be. Oh, my superpower would be, I didn't think about this beforehand. Would you absorb everybody My else's superpower would be to absorb everyone else's superpower so that I could, and in absorbing them, my mind would remember them so that I always had them. Exactly like Peter in Heroes, which is a pretty cool power because then you got all the powers. And That's I don't cheating, know. though. It's not cheating. So now we're going to tell them about things that you have here that remind you of home. I don't want to do that. And this is one of them. This is me. Well, that doesn't remind me of home. That reminds me of you. <laughs> that... Being at home. No, that just reminds me of you. Oh, here, I have another one. I don't know what she's doing. Your little chest thingy. Oh, that reminds me of the guy that made it for me. And home. Uh, okay, I guess, and home. I don't know anything else. Nothing really reminds me of home. That's bad. Uh, anyway... So I had my first choir concert, my first college choir concert tonight, and it went awesome. And so the concert choir that I'm in sang, and we were followed by the chamber choir, which is the most prestigious choir at Ball State. And I was just like, man, our concerts, our choir sucks compared to these guys. So yeah, that made me feel awesome. But our choir, our concert was still pretty good, so yeah. That's about I'm all I've Jeff done. Dunham was. Jeff Dunham was funny. It's good and funny. Um, that's about it though. I got a deficiency notice because I'm getting a D plus in applied calculus. I hate that class. I hate my teacher. I like my teacher one on one, but I hate him as a teacher of everybody. He's not very good at it. And then, is there any other interesting things that are going on? You're in an opera. I'm in an opera. I am. I am in a chorus, the chorus of an opera. And, Don Giovanni. Yeah, Don Giovanni by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, which is fun to say. And I suck compared to everyone else in it. You do not. Oh, but I do. You guys need to hear this guy named Adam Hendrickson sing. He's playing Don Giovanni in it, which is lead character, obviously. And he's amazing. He's like the best singer I've ever heard in my entire life. So yeah, that was uh, that's good. That's fun. And other than that, there's pretty much nothing going on. I'm hanging out, going to class, doing lots of homework, and...